Jonathan, um, M. Night told me that he thinks of this movie as a stage play and I have the same feeling watching the movie. I would like to know uh, how this approach you as an actor on set. I can totally see why you think of it as a stage play because it's one location and it's long scenes so it feels like a play they could make a play of this movie actually and it wouldn't be too complicated um i would say the most play like aspects of it uh as opposed to other films as far as the acting is concerned is that we shot it pretty much in chronological order so we were able in the cabin mm -hmm. to start at the beginning of the story and go to the end Usually in films, it's all separate, but for the most part, we told it in chronological order. And then the, the, the biggest thing that made it like a play that was probably my favorite element of shooting the movie was that the seven, seven of us, it's only seven actors, because most of the scenes were all of us in the cabin, unlike normal films, we would all show up and we would all be there all day. And we, we started to create a kind of ensemble energy mm -hmm. of, of passing the ball. And uh, in those big, long scenes, sometimes the camera would be going like this back and forth. And I would feel the adrenaline of not being the one to drop the ball. And uh, even when you were off camera, when we were off camera, we were still giving 100% because of the situation of the story the stakes were so high that you couldn't really phone it in from off camera either you always had to give a hundred percent and it created a real bond between us as a group that felt like a theater like a theater troupe almost yes and um, then uh knock on the cabin is a is a movie about fear and its consequences and i think about andrew a man that after hate crime decided to buy a gun do you think that fear is the common element of many of our social issues yeah, I once read something that said <clears throat> fear is the opposite of love. Mm. And um, I, th I think about, yeah, I, and I think that kind of rings true in a way. Um, and the, a lot of the world has got to where it is now <clears throat> because of fear of the unknown, fear of each other, fear of difference. Um, and yeah, I suppose that's a real that's a real theme. Both of those things, both love and fear, are probably the for me the most dominant themes of the movie. And uh, yeah, I, I certainly felt a lot of fear making this uh, movie. I was quite intimidated by it and felt quite exposed. Um, and then also, Knight would would often say to us uh before a take to play love to think about loving each other think about loving our family and that would help motivate i suppose andrew's fierce defense of his family and him trying to survive this situation so yeah they were the both very um current themes in the world and in the movie i think uh do you think this movie is a game changer in terms of representation in the industry. I don't think just about you guys, but also about uh, Dave. I don't think this movie would have been done 15 years ago. Right. <clears throat> yeah, definitely it wouldn't have. That's it? Okay, I go. <laughs> yeah, 15, yeah, 15 years ago, almost exactly 15 years ago, I came out of the closet. And when I did that, I felt like I was making a bit of a left turn to actually do more theater uh, and not be doing as much film and television. Uh, so the idea that, and that the gay marriage wasn't even legalized yet. Mm -hmm. So the, the concept that now 15 years later, I'm out, I'm, I'm in the, the center of a love story inside of a genre film directed by Knight with Ben uh, playing a married gay couple I think, you know, there's a lot of change that still needs to happen. There's a lot of regression politically that needs to be continued to put, be pushed back. But certainly this movie wouldn't have been made 15 years ago. And we're having the privilege of riding this wave of progress. And it's, it's, a, real, it's a real gift. And the fact that so many people hopefully go and see this movie as, as they do all of Knight's movies and uh, mm -hmm. 
you know, just putting putting two guys and their adopted daughter at the center of a love story is is a, is a nice energy to put out into the world. Thank you so much for your time, guys. It's been a pleasure. Big fan of Luke King and Fleabag. Thank you so much. Oh, thank, thank you. Bye. Thank you.